The political landscape in Zimbabwe is once again abuzz with whispers of succession, as President Emerson Umningagwa's supporters push for an extension of his term beyond 2030. This has sparked a heated debate about the future of ZANU-PF, the ruling party, and its implications for the nation's political stability. The whispers of Umningagwa's ambition to remain in power beyond his current term, which ends in 2028, have been growing louder in recent weeks. While the president has publicly maintained his commitment to retiring at the end of his term, his supporters have been increasingly vocal about their desire to see him remain at the helm. The 2030 v Umingagwa Vanage Vichipo Umingagwa will remain until 2030 slogan has become a rallying cry for those loyal to the president, raising eyebrows and concerns about the potential for a power grab. This echoes the tactics employed by the late Robert Mugabe, who, despite his advanced age, clung to power for decades, refusing to name a successor and ultimately leading to his ouster in 2017. Christopher Mutsvangwa, a former advisor to President Umingagwa who is also the ZANU-PF spokesperson, has publicly defended Umingagwa's leadership, urging the nation to focus on the president's achievements rather than succumbing to distracting tittle-tattle about succession. President Umningagwa deserves to continue his good work at the helm of the government without being sidetracked. Mutsvangwa stated, highlighting the progress made under Umningagwa's administration. However, legal experts point out that Umningagwa, at 81 years old, would be ineligible to benefit from any constitutional amendments to remove presidential term limits. This raises questions about the legality and feasibility of extending his term beyond 2028. The whispers of Umingadwa's ambitions have exposed deep divisions within Zanupia, with factions vying for power and influence. Vice President Constantino Chiwenga, widely seen as a potential successor, has reportedly been facing opposition from those loyal to Umingadwa. This internal strife, coupled with the president's ambiguous stance on succession, has fueled speculation and uncertainty about the future of Zanupia and Zimbabwe's political landscape. The party's political commissar, Munirazi Machcha, has attempted to quell the controversy, asserting that succession discussions are premature and reaffirming Umingagwa's intention to retire in 2028. However, the continued promotion of the 2030 slogan at official events suggests that the internal power struggles are far from over. Political analysts are concerned about the implications of this brewing conflict for Zimbabwe's democratic future. They point to the historical suppression of opposition and internal dissent within Zanupia, suggesting that the party's power dynamics may continue to favor the gerontocracy of liberation war veterans, hindering opportunities for younger generations to ascend to leadership roles. Eldred Masanungur, a political analyst, observes that aspiring leaders within Zanupia are reluctant to openly declare their intentions, suggesting a secretive approach to succession planning. He doubts Umingagwa's commitment to fostering democratic processes within the party, predicting that the president will likely endorse a preferred successor and mobilize party support accordingly. Professor Stephen Chan, an expert on Zimbabwean politics, expresses concerns that ZANU-PF's succession battle may hinder opportunities for younger generations to ascend to leadership roles within the party. He critiques the party's historical suppression of opposition and internal dissent, suggesting that power dynamics favoring the gerontocracy of liberation war veterans will continue.